Hey guys, it's Miss Bankett, and this video is designed specifically for my second graders. So that is Desi, Milan, and Xander. This video is designed just for you. Okay, so on Schoology this week, there is an algebra lesson posted in this week's materials under the math folder in the second grade folder. I know I just said a lot. If you go to the Schoology homepage, and then you go to the folder on the home page that says this week's materials, click on math, click on second grade, and then you'll find the lesson that goes with what I'm about to do in the video. So here we go. All right, so this week's lesson talks about an amusement park and different things that you see at an amusement park. But we're just gonna add some math in there. So as our warm up we are going to finish the pattern. All right, so this is what we call an A-B pattern, meaning that there are only two items or objects, as you wanna say, in our pattern sequence. So let's look at it and then let's try to finish it. So first we have a corn dog, yummy, and cotton candy, corn dog, cotton candy. Let's look at it one more time. Corn dog, cotton candy. Corn dog, cotton candy. This one is blank. What comes next? Do we have cotton candy next or a corn dog? You tell me. What comes next? Did you say corn dog? I'm pretty sure you said corn dog. And if you did, you are correct. So let's look at our pattern now that it's finished. Corn dog, cotton candy. Corn dog, cotton candy. Corn dog, that was correct. Good job, guys. All right, let's go to our next page. We have another pattern sequence to finish. So this one looks like some games that we might find at an amusement park. There's a bumper car and then carnival games. Bumper car, carnival games. This one is empty. So what comes next? Do we have another carnival games icon or do we put in there a bumper cars icon? What do you think? Take a second to look at that pattern again and talk about it with the adult that's working with you. A bump of car comes next, very good. Now let's look at our pattern, all finished. Bump a car, carnival game. Bumper car, carnival game. Bumper car does come next, very good. All right, so if we were at an amusement park, what would you try? Here are a few things that we can find at the amusement park. What would you try? Hmm. Miss Spanky would definitely try the roller coaster, but not the ones that go up way high. I'm a little scared. I would definitely try the roller coaster. I might do some bumper cars and some games. Um, and I definitely would probably get a snack, maybe a corn dog or even cotton candy. So now let's get into the meat of our lesson. So our question says, which sign tells us to add that's supposed to say us let me fix that guys see miss banky makes mistakes too but i can always go back and fix them so let's read it again which sign tells us to add so here we have a subtraction sign and we have an addition sign so I want you to point to the one that tells us to add. I 
I'm going to circle it. And the picture that tells us to add is the addition sign. So whenever we see an addition sign, that means we're going to add numbers together. Now, what do we do if we see an addition sign? What is our job? Are we taking away or are we putting things together? So what should we do? We're gonna put things together. Good job, I'm gonna circle that. We wanna put things together. All right, so whenever we see an addition problem, this is the setup that it's going to be written in. This might be a little confusing, but once I explain it, you'll definitely understand it. So our addition problems will look like this. So we'll have A plus B equals C. So we have some amount that represents A, we have another amount that represents B, and then when we, when we put them together, we'll end up with C. So let's take a look at one of our word problems. All right, so it says, Paige, this is A, all right? Paige rides five roller coasters. She rides five roller coasters. So down here I have my tense frame, but Miss Beckett also drew her own tense frame on her whiteboard. It's not the best. It's a makeshift one. Parents, you can do this on a piece of paper, um, in a notebook. And I literally just drew like a big rectangle, drew a line through the middle of it, and then I drew four vertical lines to make five at the top and five at the bottom. Your kiddos are very familiar with tense frames because we use them all the time in the classroom. So I drew a tense frame. So it says that Paige rides five roller coasters. So first what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag down five roller coasters into my tense frame. All right, so I'm gonna drag down one, and they all go in their own separate box. Two, three, four, and five. Now, I think I have five, but I'm going to count them again to make sure that my work is correct. We have one, two, three, four, five. Awesome. And I know that you might not be able to do this specifically at home, so that's where our tens frame comes into place. So, because there are two parts in this addition problem, you have an A and a B, I'm going to use two different colors to represent each item. So, for page, I'm going to use green. I'm not going to draw roller coasters. I'm just going to draw circles or dots in my tense frame. So, it says that page rides five roller coasters. So, I'm just going to draw five circles. So I have one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to count them to make sure that my work is correct. I have touch and count. That is very important because you can be counting and you might over count or over count or under count. So I'm gonna to be touching each one as I count to make sure that I don't leave any out and that I don't add any extras. We have one, two, three, four, five. Now with some of our kiddos, you might have to add some hand over hand assistance and that is totally fine. It all depends on the, the skill sets that your child has. So if you need that hand over hand assistance, you're just gonna lightly grab the wrist and have them use their finger and you're going to show them where to point, simple. And most of our kiddos are able to do this independently. 
So now I want you to count your items in your tense frame. Does yours look like mine? Do you have five just like me? I'm going to count one more time. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So now let's look at B. So we did A. Paige rides five roller coasters. We did A, right? We put in five roller coasters. Let's look at B. Drew rides two roller coasters. Look at that. It's making me another mistake. Add that S in there. Drew rides two roller coasters. So I'm going to drag down two roller coasters. All right, here we go. One, two. So now I'm going to count my roller coasters to make sure that I added just enough, not too many and not any that is underneath the amount that I'm looking for. We're looking for two roller coasters. So I'm going to count them. Here we have one, two so now i'm going to show that on my tense frame and i'm going to use a different color i normally use two different colors just so that the kiddos see that there are two different amounts um so that they don't get confused like there was five and then there's two all right so i'm going to draw two circles on my tense frame we have one Two. So I'm going to touch and count to make sure that my work is correct. One, two. So I drew two blue circles to represent the two roller coasters that drew rides. So C says they ride C together. So that is the total. How many did they ride all together? So let's take a look at our work. So here's our tens frame with the seven, with the five roller coasters. Oops, I almost gave it away. With the five roller coasters that Paige rode and the two roller coasters that Drew rode. So now we have to figure out this C. So our A was five and we have the plus our two, which was our B, equals our C. So that means we have to see how many rides they rode together. Remember when we add, we're not taking away, we're putting things together, all right? So we have our A and our B, we put them together to make C. So let's count our roller coasters on the screen and then we can check our tense frame to make sure that our own individual work is the exact same. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven roller coasters in our tense frame. Let's check our work so we have one remember touch and count one two three four five six seven are those numbers the same yes they are so that means five plus two equals seven. Let's make that a little bigger. So five plus two equals seven. So that means that Drew and Paige rode seven roller coasters all together. Remember we had our A, we had our B, we put them together and that makes C. Awesome. All right, so now 
I want you to take the strategies that we learned today and that we used so that you can finish your work that was on Schoology. All right, guys. I want to see some of those pictures of your work. All right. I know you can do it. Bye.